Vader again. <laughs> right? Look, I am your father. So you're playing. Good morning, Computer. boss. Good morning. How are you? Good. I hear somebody blowing. It's not us. Yeah. We are going to finish putting the rest of this mulch down here because mm -hmm. we have another 20 yards being delivered tomorrow. Um, we're going to put the rest of the mulch down here, then we're going to finish mowing. We're going to probably do a bunch of mowing today after this. Yeah, we're going to try to get so, as much done as yeah. possible. We have more quotes to do. It's a beautiful Friday. We still have blocks in the back seat of the car. That doesn't grow in here. And you planted it back there. The ferns are happy back there. Yeah, the ferns have been growing inside the car. They've been in the car <laughs> for a week now, so. So. See, look. Are we going to try to plant some stuff today? Oh, I don't know. But, did you tell them this? What? We might get snow. Yeah, I seen one to three inches of snow next week. <sighs> but it changes so much around it here, does. so I wouldn't... I mean, we are, we're very similar to spring up north. Like, it's just very unpredictable. You know, people think that we're in the south and they're like, oh, you're in the south. You know, you guys are already working. It's very unpredictable. Some mornings can have frost. We can get a, a freeze all the way up to mid-April, which yeah. is why we've only planted our cool season crop so far. So, all right. Carl's telling me no more story time with We have boss. to get to work. The boss is working <laughs> me to the bone. You know. Yeah, you're working me to the bone. I wanted to take a sick day today. The boss wanted to take a sick day. I told her she could, but okay. Too let's much get to time. get done. What do you have here, boss? So this is our new wheelbarrow. Is it on? No. So there's an It on doesn't go that fast though. There's an on off switch right here. And then what do I do? Reverse it? Oh, that's forward. How do I do reverse then? Hit that gray thing on the side, push it in. Oh, yeah. And then go back. Oh. Nice. Do it again to go forward. I have to get the hang of it. Once I get the hang of it, man, it's like I hardly have to do anything. Really, man. <laughs> okay, I'll load it up for you. All right. So you guys seen the boss finish this whole section like i said we're mulching all the way out see this edge right before the tree and then back around and all the way around the backyard i'll show you that when we do that but the boss is gonna plant we buried a little phlox that was half dead so the boss felt bad and went and bought a new one right there so she's gonna plant that there and then i am going to dig out these rocks and fix them and then mulch here so I'll show you after that then we're gonna go finish mowing so there's dark Vader again <laughs> right Look, I am your father so you'll plant the flocks yes. I'll fix the rocks over here and then I guess so guys I don't know if you see this you could just mulch clean the grass out mulch up to the rocks but I go a little bit further I pull the rocks out and then I'm going to reset them so they're nice and pretty, right boss? Yeah. So, what's the matter? I need that for a second so I can make a big enough hole. Oh, okay. So there you go. The boss planted her little flocks there. And if you look at, we didn't quote to redo these rocks on here, but you know, you don't have to, but just the extra little detail too make it look better instead of having all the grass growing in between. It took me 
maybe 15 minutes to do it, so off to mowing now. Ready to mow these two? Yeah, after I send this email. These two are new properties we picked up this year. Um, I'll show you a little bit of them, only the grass parts. Um, it's a really tricky mow. So being the first mow, we got to see how we can mow and what we can mow. We, you'll see the terrain. It's so mm -hmm. choppy and bumpy and all kinds of things, right? Yeah, I think I'm going to have to use baby T. Yeah, that's what we named her, right? Baby T? Is it? Whatever, baby T. <laughs> yeah, so. just baby T. Okay, we'll get this done. So you guys can see right there, see how it's got a hill. And then this has got a little dip here. And then the other yard where the boss is is the same way. And the back's a little funny. So I'll go ahead and do this. It ain't much growing. Though. So this is what it looks like this way. So I have to mow this uh, fun hill here now. So then it's the backyard. So see how high, see how steep this hill is. That's why you need a walk behind. No so we're mowing. finished these two. This one and that one. Um, that one's gonna come in nice and stripe nice around that hill once it fills in. So off to the next ones. So we are at two more that we're mowing for the first time this year. Uh oh, phone call. Who? So we're at these two. It's mm -hmm. the first mows for the season. Mm -hmm. um, shouldn't be too hard to do these. And then we're gonna, I think we're gonna mow them down there, right? I think so. We'll have, you I'll, have to ask her when you're yeah, done I'll this go one. Down there. So the boss is gonna mow the back of this one, and I'm gonna mow the front and the other side. Mm -hmm. So eventually, and then I'm gonna go down there. And then she's gonna go down there, and I'll weed eat everything. Yep. So maybe I'll show you an after. All right. Boss did diagonal stripes this time. Looking nice. We finished the other two down there. I didn't get an after. I'll see if I can. So that's the other ones we finished. I don't know if you can see the stripes in the front yard. And then this one you can't see because the bushes are in the way where the dog is. But we finished that one. Off to the next. So you guys seen we finished them three. So we're going to do one more, which is our neighbor. And it's pretty big. Yeah, it's a big one. It's like definitely over an acre. Yeah, probably an acre and a half of mowing. But um, just um, boss, that last one of them yards we did was fun. Yeah. We gave a quote on redoing the whole, doing a bunch of work, and I guess it was too expensive. Anyway, they <laughs> they found somebody else to do it. Right. And them finding somebody else to do it, we went to mow it for the first time. Guys, be a landscaper. Don't be an ass. Sorry for my language. Yeah. When you put hay bales down over grass seed, don't leave all the strings in the grass to grow over the winter. Yeah. I mean, that's just, come on. It, Anybody that does it, quit doing landscaping. Because that's just I mean, we've, I we've kind of, we kind of have talked about this before. And listen, we are not about bashing people at all. And we we're do not, not perfect want you to, at everything. No, and we're not saying that we're perfect. It's been a lot of learning over the past, what, nine years. Yeah. Um, and you're always learning. And I have said that before. And I think I even got bashed for saying, like, if you're not learning every day, then you're not growing. And in order to grow, you need to learn and you need to educate yourself and do things the proper yeah, way. Do things the proper way. Just because they're your way doesn't mean they're the proper way. For instance, I could see if it was an accident and somebody left one bale one, string there. Maybe but there were two, probably but 30. Yeah. Like they threw the bales of straw out to put the grass seed down. And this, keep in mind, was a landscaping company. Threw the bales of straw out last year and left all the strings for the bales to grow in the grass. Well, and again, I don't really want to bash anybody, but to be honest with you, they didn't do it properly anyway because they were mulch beds. And they seeded over the mulch instead of taking the yes. mulch out. Now. Like they took a good majority majority of the mulch out but then left a lot of the mulch so I don't even know if that grass is ever going to it's not going to properly grow because it was pine bark it, there was pine mulch in there so right. the pH is going to be off in the soil you, you can tell the grass is already and brown. well and you saw the rye grass the rye grass was really tall I don't know if you guys saw it before but the rye grass is really tall that rye grass is going to um, die once it starts oh, there's getting fescue under there yeah, I did see a little bit of fescue under there, so... But that was my rant that you guys... Yeah, heard. You won't every once in a while, you know, we do have to do a little Just bit of a rant, but... Just right, guys. Yeah, I mean, listen, 
if we want to be able to charge what we want to charge i mean this is not easy work but we can't take shortcuts if we take shortcuts then we really have no ground to stand on yeah. to get what we want as far as pay so just keep that in mind maybe um, that was how you maybe you're supposed to that nylon string probably breaks down into the grass right no over the next 50 years no so just you know try your best to do things the correct way and um you know be very detailed because don't make happy unhappy <laughs> yeah because then you get a rant <laughs> so. so we're gonna go finish our last one well i'm gonna finish it i'm gonna do half of it and then whatever the boss comes back she's yeah. going to gallivant around the town really i'm not gallivanting i have to have the girls to work yes they're working a different day this week because our schedule was off but so yes yeah, so that's what i'm doing i'm dropping the girls off at work then i'll come back and help and then i have to go pick the girls back up and then come back and help and then we should be done so all right let's see what we this can do the last one finished all this it was all this and then there's another section on the other side that's just as big it's probably about two acres of mowing the boss came and helped for a minute and then she had to go back and pick the kids up so fun for today